The Vow of the Disciple raid is now live in Destiny 2, and with it there's a ton of pyramid themed raid weapons available. Forbearance is one of them, and this new wave frame grenade launcher might just be low key the best one you can get your sweaty little mitts on. We've got all the details right here for this god tier grenade launcher, as well as a quick and devastating void 3.0 build you can pair with it, granting unlimited invisibility, health and volatile rounds. Please check that you subscribe to the channel before we get into it if you do like any of my videos or are even a returning viewer. I've got tons of Destiny 2 Witch Queen content planned, so don't miss out on that by hitting the bell button too. Forbearance is one of the new weapons obtainable from the Witch Queen raid and it bears a resemblance to the theme of the pyramid ships we've been teased about for so long. Unfortunately, I'm struggling to find a good shader for it, with this year one colour shader being the one that I've settled on for now. Shader gate aside, this is the first ever Arc Energy Waveframe grenade launcher and it comes not only with a number of excellent roles but also the new raid origin trait Soul Drinker. With this new trait you gain health based on the number of hits before reloading. This new trait is kind of overpowered, especially on a waveframe grenade launcher which is designed to take out tons of trash ads in one go. This appears to be percentage based and a good hit burst in a group of ads will pretty much return you to full health. As you only generally get one shot on these grenade launchers before reloading, unless you have something like Ambitious Assassin, you'll always be regaining health regardless. Now what's even better to pair with the Soul Drinker trait is a perk that'll get you an absolute ton of kills, and it's the first time we've seen it on a waveframe grenade launcher with Chain Reaction. Each final blow with Chain Reaction will create an elemental damage explosion. This is just quite simply nuts, mainly because of the huge air breathe effect damage you're already causing, but then each kill chains into what is quite literally an arc firework display. Now we've seen this perk before on the Salvager Salvo from Season of the Chosen, but that was a more precise explosion, so if you like that, you'll definitely want to get your hands on this one. It's clearly designed for the raid itself, to deal with the waves of ads that spawn in in all the encounters, and I can see it coming in clutch there to be honest, especially in the third encounter with the relics. It also has some excellent high stats for a grenade launcher, making it feel super snappy to use, reload and even switch between other weapons. I believe that it drops only from the caretaker boss encounter and then also has a chance to drop from the secret chests. You can also use Spalls of Conquest in the raid cache after the final boss too. Here you can actually pick it up as a red deep sight resonance version once per week and it is actually a weapon you can shape at the relic at the Enclave on Mars. You'll need to complete its deep sight resonance version 5 times in order to unlock the pattern. You can get deep sight resonance weapons from all weapon drop sources in the raid with a chance of them dropping in the secret chest, a guaranteed one from the boss and also one from the bonus chest you can access via the raid puzzle. Shaping the weapon will give you access to all the new raid perks and even enhanced raid perks which could add another level of god tier to this weapon. Now as promised here's a cheeky little void 3.0 build you can use with it and as crazy as it sounds you can make some excellent synergy with it even though it's an arc weapon mainly just because of how destructive it is. This mod and fragment setup works for all classes and will essentially give you infinite health and volatile rounds. Set up your aspects as you please, but for hunters I'm using both the vanishing step and stylish executioner aspects so that I can have the maximum amount of 4 fragments in this setup. The main fragment we're using is going to really combine well with the soul drinker trait, the echo of starvation. This is a new one that came available after the raid was first beaten, which you can unlock from Ikora in the tower. Simply picking up an orb of power grants you Devour. Now Devour is an extremely strong perk, and has been exclusive to Warlock since the dawn of time, but now it's available to all classes and it changes the game in a big way. You might think that it has poor synergy with the forbearance due to the health regen both it and Devour offers. However, Devour opens up your build to not only offer regen of your health on any kill, but its slept on trait is that kills whilst Devour is active will grant grenade energy too, making it essentially a better version of Demolitionist. Which, as you're getting multi kills with forbearance anyway through chain reaction, you'll be getting near instant grenades. Chuck on the Echo of Persistence too, and you'll extend both the time of your invisibility, but also Devour as well. As you'll have tons of grenades, you might as well use the Echo of Undermining to apply a 15% weaken effect to targets affected by your grenades. Lastly, Echo of Dilation will give a nice stat bump to help with your mobility stat and therefore invis dodgeability. 
Now to activate devour and make orbs of power, the best mod to use is the new Arc Siphon Helmet mod. This will create orbs of power on rapid arc weapon final blows, which you'll be doing all day anyway. Collecting an orb of power at any point will trigger, refresh or extend the timer for devour. To round out the build, we'll also get some elemental well mods into the mix so that we can use the extremely powerful volatile flow mod and cause extra volatile explosive damage to enemies with void weapons. Reaping Wellmaker will create void wells on any weapon final blow after using your class ability and also use the elemental ordnance mod to create them on grenade final blows as well. Add Font of Might into the mix too and you'll get a nice 25% damage increase to your void weapons. As for supers, I've been using the Mobius Quiver along with the Orpheus Riggs Exotics to get free tether shots dealing huge single target damage, arguably one of the better supers in Destiny 2 this season. Obviously, we've gone on about volatile rounds but we're using an arc weapon, so chuck on your favourite Void Heavy and an Osmosis Primary and you're off to the races dealing huge damage to adds, yellow bars and bosses alike. All of these mods, fragments and weapons tie into the stylish executioner aspect and should allow you to chain invisibility constantly whether that's from using volatile rounds on your weapon or weakening through your instant void grenades. I've set this one up to show you that you don't just need to clutch on all void weapons this season just to make a powerful void 3.0 build work. The new and extremely strong forbearance grenade launch is definitely one you should try and get your hands on if you've got the void deafening whisper or the new solar explosive personality you can use them but chain reaction is so great it really makes them not worth thinking about to be honest. PVE builds are all the rage and we've been covering them in depth for a long time, all shapes, all sizes for all players. Subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss an upload and also check out this incredible build with a top tier but easily accessible DPS rocket launcher that you can craft right now. I bet you haven't but I'm calling it, you honestly should.